Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Wheelchair Wednesday Chat. And you all know that I usually just reflect on uh, Wednesdays. But this Wednesday, I wanted to talk about the holidays early uh, because I think it is getting crazy out there and it does feel like the holidays and the weather is changing and it's crazy. So anyway. <laughs> and I'm kind of chuckling because last night, because I go through this parking lot often, and last night it was it was very close, folks. I almost had an SUV, full size SUV, run me over. <laughs> it was if I had panicked and frozen, the truck would have hit me. It, I would be in the hospital or a few feet underground right now. <laughs> I, and I just I just took my joystick and punched it as fast as I could and got out of the way, but. Man, was it close by a hair. I'm, I'm truly saying, you know, it's, it was by a hair. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, needless to say, I purchased myself a flag <laughs> to put on my cotton picking wheelchair. <laughs> so next time they'll see that I'm coming. Oh, it was awful. But, you know, people are driving like crazy during the holidays, and I don't know what was up with this guy, but he, he really moved out of his uh, parking space way too fast. Uh, you know, you don't do that. You're in a parking lot. You go slow. You're watching everywhere. But this guy didn't, oh, I don't know. He, he just wasn't looking. So anyway, I want to caution all of you for these holidays to be as safe as you can, uh, to truly... Uh, do what is safe on your wheelchair so that people can see you. Uh, purchase a flag. It's it's a little expensive sometimes, but I purchased mine for like 26 bucks, you know, that it's worth attaching to my wheelchair. You don't always have to have it on your wheelchair. You can take it off, you know, when you're at home or, you know, just going in the van and in and out of places. But if you're going to be crossing parking lots and streets like I do... <laughs> Best to be safe and get a flag so people can see you. Oh, it was awful experience. But anyway, <laughs> moving right on. I'm in one piece. I'm here. So what I really wanted to talk about was uh, Christmas and the holidays or Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate during this time, during this season. Uh, you know, there are questions on, like, what do I what do I get my boyfriend or what do I get my husband or what do I get my brother, you know, for the holidays that, you know, he would need or it would be useful. So I have a few ideas here. And if you type in, you know, wheelchair accessories on Amazon, they'll give you a very long list of items that you can purchase. But here are some of my favorites that um, I could always use more of. So even though I have one, it's, it's always good to, to have more. So um, uh, for, for when I go out, I always have to have my hands exposed. So uh, mittens work the best for me. Some people like gloves, so, you know, with the fingers. But I use mittens, and these are kind of lightweight. They're not the puffy kind, uh, and they're rubberized, and they're warm. I don't know what I'll do if I ever lose these but hopefully I'll be able to re replace them at some point. Um, earmuffs, you know, um, I usually don't use these, but you know, they're the ones that go behind your, go behind your head, you know, earmuffs. So to keep your ears warm during those windy, rainy, snowy days, uh, some people like the gloves. So um, these gloves, sometimes I'll wear these instead of my mittens if it's not too too cold. So I like these. These are from Luxo Bike. Luxo Bike. And again, I'm not, they didn't ask me to promote them. And I, you know, this is just a brand that I purchased and I kind of go to uh, because they are good material. They're well sewn. They're padded. This is what I like. Inside, they're padded. So um, they're soft. And so, and they, they, they have reflecting, reflecting materials, so here they are. So, you know, I can always use more of these because, you know, they 
um, they can wear down. So um, Luxo bike uh, gloves. So those are awesome. So um, for Christmas. Uh, then I think I have some Luxo bike. These Luxo bike. No, these are Contra Contra Man pink label. Um, you know the short fingers. So these are always good to have on hand, especially those who use uh, manual wheelchairs. But I, I also use them, you know, if it's, if it's cold, but it's not too cold, you know, I'll use these. Because I always, you know, even though you have a power wheelchair, uh, you, you need your hands, you know, in case something happens, like last night. <laughs> I was like, darn. Um, but, you know... <laughs> People during the holidays just drive crazy. That's all I can say. And um, I'm going to put a notice in my church bulletin uh, to please drive carefully, especially in the parking lot because I'm around. <laughs> so, <laughs> and dang it to the person who almost ran me over. <laughs> so, <laughs> one of the things, you know, sometimes people like them, sometimes people don't, but uh, uh, a, a wonderful scarf. So I did purchase, you know, a scarf for myself. It's wool, it's warm, and I just wrap it around and it keeps my neck warm. Um, yesterday I, I used a, a, a Irish, a pure Irish uh, made poncho. Uh, it was a very long one that's used in the country. Uh, very warm, uh, I love it. My family got it to me, uh, gave it to me, and perched it, perched it, perched it. <laughs> in Ireland, <laughs> so it's very warm, it's wool, it's, it's pure wool and it's heavy, so uh, I tested it off, you know, last night, and it, it was good, but unfortunately it's a dark color, so, huh. so all those precautions that we need to, um, to follow, so, so those are some of my ideas, there's a lot more, there's like, you know, zip up blankets, there's uh, pouches, you know, for their wheelchair or for their waist, you know, that's always useful, a waist, uh, waist pouch uh, that they can put all their things and have them right there uh, for themselves. Um, and I always, I had one, but I started using a neck one, but now I, I want to go back to the waist pouch. So, you know, think about some of those things uh, for your loved one uh, for this season. Uh, you know, I mean, this, this thing is warm. <laughs> so, um, and, you know, I live in a state where it snows. So, um, you know, having all kinds of, I don't use my shoes on the ground much, you know, when I go out, but I, I do have boots, uh, some warm, lightweight, warm, waterproof boots that I have. I used those last night, took it off and took them out and brushed them off and away I went. <laughs> um, you know, you can also get them an Amazon set up. You know, Amazon can plug into light bulbs, can plug into other uh, items. You can purchase a plug that also uh, connects to Amazon and you can turn things on and off uh, via voice, via asking. Amazon to turn this on, turn this off. So uh, Amazon Alexa. So um, so an Alexa setup would be great. An Alexa can also give information about the weather, about this, about that, play music. So uh, an Alexa setup would be awesome. And I use them for my lights in my room because there's one lamp, you know, for my whole room that I can't reach, so uh, Alexa turns it off and on for me. Uh, and there's a plug also that I have for uh, another small light that I have on my desk because uh, it's kind of awkward, you know, getting underneath the desk and trying to turn it on. So, so instead of hurting myself, I use Alexa. <laughs> so that can be another great gift. You know? um, so look that one up. Uh, you can get a Echo, Echo Dot and the the um there are some light bulbs that go with it or you purchase with it and uh so then you, your loved one can turn those things off and on without having to struggle or to find somebody to turn something off and on 
Uh, so those are my ideas for the holidays. I just want everybody to be safe at home, uh, to really reach out if you're lacking or, you know, if you don't know exactly what you're going to do for the holidays. Uh, I don't want wheelchair users to get, you know, all bent out of shape. You know, look around to things that you would look forward to or would what you would want to do. You could look at the, the community events. I just got a newsletter there for, I think it's for people with disabilities on events and things that they can, they want to do. I know there's an exhibit that just opened up here in Milwaukee, so I'm going to check it out, see if I can go. Um, it's a, a, an exhibit about um, Egypt, about Tutankhamun. So it's all digital, so it's, it's a little different. And it's on the floor, on the walls. So, I, I, you know, I like history, and I love history from Egypt. So I might, I might just sign myself up <laughs> and go. <laughs> so what else? Um, I just want everybody to be safe. And, and for those of us who are in wheelchairs, for us to, to figure out things that we would look forward to for the holiday and not sit around saying, well, I can't participate in anything. We can. We can participate in a lot of things. And, but we have to be willing to, to reach out and talk to people and to really connect and uh, to be ready to say, yeah, I'm going to sign up for, for this or that. Or, you know, I'm just going to tag along with my family and, and go do X, Y, Z. Usually this, this time of year, I would go to the um, state of Washington to visit my brother and his wife. But um, this year, I'm not going to go because my family wants to see me in April. So they've set up everything for me, which is, which is really nice, uh, very kind of them. So uh, I will be traveling to Canada in April. So I will be bringing all of you along with me. Hopefully I'll do some good shots and videos and talk a little bit about my adventures uh, through airports and everything else. <laughs> I can tell you how it all went. <laughs> And I don't dare put my power wheelchair in the hands of, of the authorities yet uh, until I can ride onto that airplane and they can lock me down. I'm not giving them my wheelchair to break. Um, <laughs> my brother's going to rent something on the other end, so I think either a scooter or a wheelchair, I don't know. <laughs> so, so we'll see. Uh, so, and I, I want to film it and talk a little bit about the trip and, and, and my enjoyment, but that's something that I look forward to that, you know, I got involved in and, and that's what we need to do, especially those of us who are, uh, you know, retired and, and not able to do what, what we used to do, what we love to do, um, due to health conditions. So, um, you know, so we have to play it safe. And, and truly, I, I, I like to, uh, to go somewhere for Christmas, but, but I know there's another trip coming up, so I won't plan anything big. I need to save up energy and save up pennies uh, to be able to, to go and enjoy and, and, and be with family, because uh, I don't have any family here. So, so I usually have to travel, and they usually rope me into something and say, you have to come, or we'll, you know, pay for this, or pay for that, or you can pay for this part, we'll pay for that part. So, you know, they help me out. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's that kind of thing that, you know, we, we really need to uh, be aware of in ourselves if, if we're down in the dumps to, to reach out and figure out what kind of things we would enjoy doing um, with others, even though it's, it might be hard emotionally, but, you know, in the spirit of, of growing within yourself for the holidays or for reconnecting with family or, you know, uh, it's, it's really important to, to make the effort, I would say, and to, you know, 
maybe there's not a Christmas program you want to go to because you've been enough, you've been to enough Christmas events that you're like up to here. So then, you know, do something fun at home. If if traveling, getting out is too exhausting and too complicated, then set up something at home, you know. Uh, get a small DVD, you know, that you can play some movies, get a few movies, and, you know, do a potluck with a couple of friends or with family, and you just have a, a, a good time, you know, during the holidays, something that means that is special to you uh, that will, you know, lift up your spirits and, and have fun and, and make some recommitments. Sometimes you haven't seen friends in a long time. And so getting together during the holidays is, is, is important. It can be around football games. It can be around, you know, anything that's healthy. <laughs> and know that I said healthy. <laughs> so I want everybody to, to, be, to be careful, you know, with their health as well. Uh, sometimes people can go over with, you know, alcohol, and that's not too good for us either. So, um, so it's it's one thing or the other that will lift up your spirits and change your routine, and and celebrate in whatever way you want. It doesn't have to be what society tells you it needs to be but something that is is good for you that is that is life giving for you you know and it doesn't have to include gifts it can be in just sharing what you have you know sharing who you are uh you know doing a potluck everybody can pitch in you know and, and that is more valuable than the commercial gift type, type situation. So um, it doesn't have to be the scarf or the gloves or anything like that. It can be just getting together and sharing and being with others. Um, so those are my thoughts. I, I want to encourage everyone to be safe during the holidays, especially with the crazy drivers out there. And just in a parking lot, I almost got run over, so I can't even imagine how the streets are. Uh, so <laughs> get a flag, folks. <laughs> it's bad out there. You might have one of those wheelchairs that elevates already. Uh, so some people already have those, and, you know, that'll be part of my next wheelchair because oh my god <laughs> come on folks yeah but if you have one of those elevating wheelchairs i really want to encourage you to use it during the holidays because you know people are not thinking or they're thinking too much or i don't know what it is when they get behind the wheel but um it, yeah we just need to all be safe to slow down to think about what we're doing, to drive safely, to um, stay out of the way if you can. <laughs> Sometimes in the, during the holidays, I've always chosen to stay home <laughs> and stay away from the craziness in the stores because it's just not worth it. Um, either I'll go really early or I'll go right after, you know, to grab some sales. But I just don't want to deal with the traffic and... I thought that would just happen on the sidewalks and the streets, but <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> it's, it has spilled over to parking lots. So, <laughs> so in a few days, I will get my flag, and I will make sure that I am safe and that I don't get run over. <laughs> so I want you all, as always, to stay safe and to be well, and also... Uh, remember to subscribe if you are new to my channel. I have videos on every Monday for caregivers. On Wednesdays, I do reflections like today. Uh, on Fridays, I do Wheelchair Tech Fridays. And I talk about technology. Uh, last Friday, I talked about technology and warranties, which are really important to not forget about. Um, and so... Every week I try to be creative and bring on topics for all of you to 
listen to and take advantage of and, and have reminders, oh, yeah, I need to do this, or I should look at this, or, you know. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit of that. So if you have a topic that you would like me to address, please let me know. I'll be happy to do the research and do a cool video on it. Um, I will be designing probably a Christmas or a vlog miss uh, uh, video soon. So be well. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming, uh, spending your time here with me. You could have been doing something completely different or more important than this, but I am so glad you came and you shared some time with me. So uh, be safe, be well, and I'll see you in the next one.